Hey everybody, Tom Langland here with RVTexasYall.com and today we have our second campfire video, campfire cooking video. And today we're going to be doing cowboy beef stew. Now it's beef stew in a cast iron, but I like to call it cowboy beef stew because we're doing it right over the fire. So. Stay with us and we'll kind of show you. It's a very easy recipe, a lot of fun to do while you're outdoors and, and a very tasty meal as well. Okay, for this recipe, it's really easy and, and it can be very flexible with the kind of vegetables that you like and stuff, but we're just starting with some beef stew meat. Got a couple packs here. We're gonna put a little flour around them and we'll show you that in just a minute. We're gonna start with a little olive oil in the pan. Um, beef stock, or it could be any kind of stock. Uh, this is our own stock that we made at the house. And a little salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic salt. Uh, we're going to add a little mushrooms to ours. And kind of the basic ingredients is celery, carrots, and potatoes. And you can use the kind of potatoes of your choice. We're also going to put a little garlic in there and an onion. So those are like basic ingredients, and like I said, you can kind of make it your own if you want to add different vegetables or take some of these out. But uh, now I'm going to go over and I'm going to add a little olive oil to our pan, and then Stacy's going to start preparing the meat and chopping up these vegetables. Okay, we're going to start here with just a little olive oil in the bottom, and we kind of preheated our pan here um, over the fire and we're getting the olive oil in there. I'm gonna let that heat up a little bit before we put our meat in. And we, you can adjust your chain here to make it hotter. If you're getting too hot, you know, you can adjust it up. If you need to get it hotter, then you can take it closer to the fire and adjust it down. So I adjusted it before we started here and I tried to level out my pan so now we'll go to Stacy where she's preparing the meat and stuff and, and we'll get cooking. Hey y'all, so the first thing we're gonna do is get the meat ready. And we like to drop a little flour in a bag, real simple. Add a little bit of seasonings in. We're gonna use, like Tom said, some pepper, some salt, some onion powder, some garlic powder. Season up the meat a little bit before we get started. And to give it, the flour will give it just a little bit of a coating. So as we uh, go to cook it, it gives it a little bit of a uh, browning before we add the rest of the ingredients to the stew. You don't have to do it. Um, totally your call, um, but it's the way we're doing it today. And you know we don't use exact measurements. Whatever seems right, you just make it your own. We got leaves falling, so <laughs> And we're using stew meat today, beef stew meat. You can use any kind of meat you'd really like, or you could do a vegetarian version if you'd like and just skip the meat altogether, but it is beef stew. So we will be using beef stew meat. Ours is already pre-cut into the little pieces. So I've got all the beef tips now loaded, and stew meat loaded in to the flour and, and seasonings combination. I'm just going to seal up the bag and 
shake it around. This is a really easy cleanup, and it's a really easy way to just quickly coat your meat and not have to worry about making a big mess. And it protects it from the falling leaves. All right, done. All right, so now that we've got everything all floured, all our meat floured, we're just gonna drop it into the pan here, let it start doing its thing in the Dutch oven. And I like to take it out by hand and put it in because that way if you have extra flour in the bag, you don't end up with a lot of extra flour in your pot. Have a little bit more control. Okay, so uh, now while Tom's stirring, down, stirring around the meat and getting it cooking, I'm gonna get to work on chopping up our vegetables. Uh, like he said, we've got some mushrooms, some carrots, some celery, some onions, some garlic, some potatoes. And we're also gonna throw, when we put in the stock, we're also gonna put in some bay leaves. Um, give it a little extra flavor. Um, there's no particular rhyme or reason to, uh, to how much or how little. It depends on what you have. And, um, and you know, your particular um, favorites and, uh, and how much of anything you like. So I'm not going to uh, spend a lot of time on the preparation. You can, if you can use whatever, if you like potatoes, you can use whatever kind of potatoes you like. We happen to have red potatoes, so that's what we're using. And some people like to skin their potatoes before they throw it in for the, uh, just for convenience. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to cut off any, you know, little questionable areas. I keep a trash can right back here uh, to, uh, to make it easy just to immediately discard anything I don't need so that it's not blowing around the campground also. And uh, yeah, we're just going to chop these up, you know, basically little bite-sized pieces. And uh, we already have some mushrooms here. We bought the pre-sliced this time, so uh, we don't have to worry about cutting that up. You don't need to sit here and watch me chop all these vegetables. That's not you know, terribly exciting. So we're gonna fast forward it now. I'm gonna finish chopping all these vegetables up and uh, we'll check back with you when we're about to add them, uh, add the next piece into the pot. All right, so now where our, our meat is kind of browned here. You can see that it's already looking delicious. And I'm gonna get our stock, this is about four cups of stock. And? And in case you saw the, one of the jars there, that is not pickle juice, that is stock. <laughs> <laughs> we make our own stock and we reuse jars. Yeah, we kind of recycle. So now we're just gonna put in our, all of our stuff. That is one full pot. It's one full pot. Of course, it's going to cook down, especially the vegetables will all cook down. Big old pot. We have one last ingredient we want to add here. Want to put our garlic in here. I'll just add a little salt and pepper. We'll 
torque that in. We're just going to let this cook for probably a couple hours, hour and a half, and we should have some wonderful beef stew when we get done. And we'll kind of mand our fire, keep it going. Check it every so often too, make sure it's not cooking too fast, yep. or too slow. See if you need to rise it or yep. raise it, <laughs> rise it, raise it or lower it. And Always, you know, you want to cook, you're cooking over the fire, you want to cook with the lid on here. This this lid is really tight with this particular pan. Our 12 inch is real easy to put on. There we go. And then I'm going to check my, we're good there. All right, set it and forget it. <laughs> All right, just a little update, it is coming along. Wanted to show y'all what it's looking like. Yeah, that is looking good. Okay, so now we've been cooking for oh, about an hour, 45 minutes, maybe an hour 50, and I think we're done. Okay, now let's take a look. Wow, that looks good. Start up here. It's a bowl here. Okay, now for the best part. The tasting. The tasting. So here we go. Or should I say the eating? The eating. Let's let's give her a try here. It is always hot coming directly out of the Dutch oven, so. You got to be a little careful. Oh yeah. Mm. That's good. That works. Yeah, it worked and you know, all in all it took us around two hours to do it. It cooked for about an hour and 45 minutes once we got it all in the pot. And it's an easy meal. Like you said, we just threw the stuff in. And we've just been relaxing here at the campsite. Yeah, um, just you know, keep your fire going and, and, and monitor uh, that. Monitor and that. Uh, you may have to raise or lower um, the cast iron, but. Um, and if you have it here on the table, let's say you're, you've got some folks coming to your campsite to, for dinner. If you have this already ready and sitting on your table, these cast iron Dutch ovens will hold their heat for a while. Oh, yeah. It'll you, stay hot for a while. Yeah, you can have it done probably 45 minutes to an hour in advance, and it'll still be nice and warm for them. So, so I guess that'll do it uh, for this video of, of our cast iron beef stew, cowboy style, over the fire. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Hit like. Hit subscribe share and this is our second cooking video so yes. check out our chili video uh, as well if you're interested in that and if you'd like to see more cooking videos let us know leave yeah, us a let, comment let us know we enjoy doing it we cook outside all the time this is one of the pleasures of RVing so thanks for being with us until next time safe travels and happy camping bye, bye. let's eat yes Mm, that is good. Yes, it is.